Well, the Heus is uh, one of the largest uh, animal feed producers uh, in the world. Uh, so we are in the top 15 worldwide, producing uh, roughly 7 million uh, metric tons of, uh, of animal feeds. Uh, we are here in, based in Asia and in different countries. We are in Vietnam, Myanmar, Indonesia, India, and also expanding uh, throughout the region. Uh, the Heus family owned company, more than 110 years old. And it's a royal company. So, yes. <clears throat> so, in fact, uh, the most important problem that we see nowadays in the in the chain is the food safety. I think that is for most consumers in uh, in Asia the biggest uh, uh, issue. And we, as an industry, have to address that issue. And there's there's other issues as well, but I think uh, food safety is one of the key issues. Uh, as we are working with a lot of different stakeholders throughout the chain, it's quite difficult to uh, align all these st stakeholders. Everybody sometimes have, uh, you know, it could be that uh, there's different uh, interest uh, from the different stakeholders in the chain. I think the key for us is to, uh, to work together. Uh, so every stakeholder in the chain has to take his own responsibility and, and work together. However, we also understand there is a couple of uh, stakeholders for whom it's very difficult to, uh, to, for example, have access to technology that can help them improve, uh, which are especially the farmers. Uh, so our role is also to, to help the farmers in different ways. So we provide uh, farm support uh, just to increase uh, his uh, effectiveness on the farm. For us, I, I think one of the key issues today is the fact that there is sometimes uh, mistrust between the different stakeholders. Uh, and I think uh, blockchain can help to, uh, to address this problem by bringing in, uh, trust in, uh, into this chain again. So uh, by having all these transactions uh, brought into the blockchain, uh, and make them uh, immutable uh, will help uh, uh, at least to, to, to secure that uh, trust is for the next uh, step in the chain is also, uh, is also secure. So what you can see in the chain for in, in, in our cases would be that we have a raw material provider who is providing us with raw materials. With these raw materials we are providing animal feeds. We are providing these animal feeds to the farmer. This farmer, together with other inputs like medicines or water and, 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 and different types of genetics, is producing, um, is producing the, the livestock. Mm. This livestock is sold to the slaughterhouses. The slaughterhouses are slaughtering the, the livestock for the processing industry. And the processing industry then delivers that to the retail uh, or to fast food chains directly from the slaughterhouse. These are the typical kind of uh, chain. That we are talking about. I think what uh, indeed is the most important one is by uh, by bringing in blockchain uh, technology, uh, we have the ability to, to to make these transactions that are happening in this chain uh, trusted. Uh, we in fact have our own chain in uh, in which we are exporting uh, full free processed uh, uh, processed full free meats to to Japan. Uh, where farmers are cooperating, slaughterhouses are cooperating. So you see different stakeholders, in fact, cooperating in this chain. I think uh, blockchain is indeed one of the, uh, the, the technologies that uh, can help uh, improve the trust. Uh, our partner is uh, DLT from uh, Singapore. Uh, we are you know, we're working with them on, uh, on this project and we are, they are helping us to, to make the use case. Uh, I think we are now in this process. I'm, I'm happy uh, uh, that we have the use case, and I also believe that we are quite quickly uh, able to uh, to make uh, uh, a working solution out of that. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, each company, anyway, has to explore all the different technologies that are around there. Uh, I think one of the possible mistakes that uh, that has been made is that blockchain. Uh, is seen as, as a Bitcoin uh, solution, which is more like a consumer uh, kind of product. So uh, the issue is how to make this technology also you know, available for, for businesses and enterprises. And uh, in that sense, I think the, the possibility to make it like a private blockchain in the beginning, which can later evolve into a, to a more open solution, but at least 
uh, first you have to make the, the use case work, uh, which works with a limited number of, of, of private partners. So I, I believe in the beginning, indeed, you need to have a private blockchain uh, to also be able to, to deliver something. supply chain and when I say supply chain it's actually extended supply chain which extends beyond their vendors into their vendors vendors and it travels down to their last point of procurement how, how do we track these in today's environment we track by using rudimentary technologies where we try to move the data from one system across to the other or we start emailing them or trying to understand the different positions on you know, our supply, supply and information. We found that there is profound uh, development which needs to happen in terms of how we can create this network so that we can have real time information on our customer ATP or the availability you know, which we could promise across to our customers. That's where we build our inter enterprise software platform, which we call as DLT Ledgers, which is being used by several large organizations by their supply chain teams. We help them to connect across to their business partners without moving their data from multiple different vendor levels so that they get real time visibility on what's happening from, my, from their vendor's vendor. What are the technologies required for this to make it happen? Number one, we need a solution where it will benefit every party in the network. That's where our framework of business blockchain comes into play, where every party's information is stored in shared ledger concept in our distributed ledger technology. Number two, each of these parties have their own legacy environments where they create their, for example, their POs and delivery orders and goods issue and goods receipts within the processes which they play in terms of, uh, you know, passing the parcel across the supply chain. We have developed blockchain links or blockchain connectors which can connect to any environments which they use as of today within a matter of two to three days without any manual coding at any end. Our PC link connects our platform to SAP, to Oracle, to Microsoft or to any custom build environments by a plug and play kind of a process. Number three is how we consolidate and make it visible to each of these parties. Either the customer can use their own uh, reporting framework we have an API platform which connects across to their reporting framework or they could come and use the R reporting entities so that they get the visibility in front of them. All these in one platform we service using our DLT ledgers. We run millions of transactions, several thousands of partners or business partners we call as vendors which can be created, connected and the visibility comes onto your show or in your control panels within your organization. We call this network not as an enterprise software. We call this network as an inter-enterprise software platform. 